Hi, this is AM from Belectronic, and this is a second video dedicated to the A envelope model. In the previous video, we show how A envelope works as a regular four channels ADSR, and in the same way, as happens in traditional ADSR behavior, the input that launches the envelope, this from here, is configured as a gate input, denoted by this push button that is off. When it is off, corresponds to the gate input. This means that when we enter a signal here in the A envelope input, the attack stage will start. After the attack stage is completed, the decay phase will start. And after the decay's completion, the sustain stage will begin. The sustain stage remains active as long as the activation input of the envelope is kept high. In the case of the A envelope model, means that the voltage is over 2.5 volts. When the input signal again goes down, it means when the key is released, for instance in our keyboard, then the release stage starts until it gets extinguished. Let's do a small demonstration. Here, in our data, we can see two different lines, the one and the two channels. The two first channels here in data are the ones that we're going to use. In the second channel, the blue line is showing us which is the behavior of the gate input. It means the input in our A envelope model. Meanwhile, the first channel, the green line, is showing us the output of the envelope, also for the channel 1. In this way, we will be able to see how the envelope evolves along the time and how is the correspondence in between the blue lines and the green lines. As we can see here, the blue square contains only the attack, the decay and the sustain. And when the sustain finishes, then the release starts. Let's see it live. This is the attack, this is the decay, this is the sustain, and this is the release. So, as said before, the sustain will remain high till the gate is released, till the gate is down, okay? It means that our key is released. After our key gets released, then the release stage starts. Well, actually this is the behavior of the gate configuration for the input activation. But the A envelope model allows three different types of configuration for this gate. The first one is the one that we already showed here when the light is off. The second one is the trigger when the button gets orange. And the third one is the retrigger when the LED goes red. Let's see what happens now with the trigger. When the activation input is configured as trigger, then the behavior is pretty pretty similar to the gate with two main differences. The first one is that the sustain duration is defined by the time parameter here. It is no longer defined by the gate state. So is the not value of the time parameter here the one that will define this duration. The second main difference is that once the envelope has started, new incoming pulses, the activation input will be ignored until the release stage gets complete. And this is also one very important thing, because if we try to trigger, it means if we go high in the middle of the envelope, the second of this activation will be completely ignored after the release has been completely finished. Let's see a short demonstration. Even though, as you see, even though I keep high, the sustain is no, no lasting more. If I want the sustain to get longer, I need to set a higher value for the time parameter. So let's go. Here we see a little bit more even more. Let's go 
Yes, here, more clear value. Okay, and even if I trigger more times, only when the release value gets down, a new envelope is retriggered. Good. So for the first configuration, the retrigger one that is denoted by the red color in the LED, the behavior is practically identical to the trigger mode with a single and very interesting difference. This difference is mainly that we can interrupt the envelope in the middle of its evolution and restart it again just from there. Let's see a demonstration just to clarify a bit more how this works. Now that we have the retrigger option when we tap when we press a key in our keyboard the behavior looks the same or more or less the same as before in the trigger configuration it means that even though i'm keeping high the gate the envelope duration is defined by the length of all the four stages but what happens when i interrupt the envelope in the middle let's do that As you can see, I can interrupt it as many times as I want. The starting point of the voltage is exactly the one that will got finished last time. Let's do a freeze here. Here, yeah, for instance. Here we can see very clearly that when we trigger again and trigger again, we interrupt the envelope cycle and we start a new cycle, but the starting point of the voltage is exactly the point where it was interrupted. In this case, it was after the decay, so very close to the sustain. In the middle of the release, so here at this point, we have started again with the attack, but not from zero, but from exactly the point where we interrupted the previous cycle. So this in my opinion, of course, is very, very interesting for use cases like, for instance, the envelope followers for external instruments. Well, that's it for, for now. In this video, the goal was to see the three different input behavior or three different input modes. So I think that the goal is complete. So that's it for today. So thank you for watching and I hope that you find it useful. Bye.